The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Coast and islands, listen to me. Pay attention, distant peoples. Yahweh called me when I was in the womb. Before my birth, he had pronounced my name. He made my mouth like a sharp sword. He hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, Israel, you are my servant, through whom I shall manifest my glory. But I said, my toil has been futile. I've exhausted myself for nothing, to no purpose. Yet all the while my cause was with Yahweh and my reward with my God. And now Yahweh has spoken, who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him and to reunite Israel to him. I shall be honored in Yahweh's eyes, and my God has been my strength. He said, it is not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I shall make you a light to the nations, so that my salvation may reach the remotest parts of the earth. In our response from Psalm 71. In you, Yahweh, I take refuge. I shall never be put to shame. In your saving justice, rescue me, deliver me, listen to me and save me. Be a sheltering rock for me, always accessible. You have determined to save me, for you are my rock, my fortress. My God, rescue me from the clutches of the wicked, from the grasp of the rogue and the ruthless. For you are my hope, Lord, my trust, Yahweh, since boyhood. On you I have relied since my birth. Since my mother's womb, you've been my portion, the constant theme of my praise. My lips shall proclaim your saving justice, your saving power all day long. God, you've taught me from boyhood, and I'm still proclaiming your miracles. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Having said this, Jesus was deeply disturbed and declared, In all truth I tell you, one of you is going to betray me. The disciples looked at each other, wondering whom he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back close to Jesus' chest, he said, Who is it, Lord? Jesus answered, It's the one to whom I give the piece of bread that I dip in the dish. And when he had dipped the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas, son of Iscariot. At that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood why he said this. Since Judas had charge of the common fund, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, Buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. It was night. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself and will glorify him very soon. Little children, I shall be with you only a little longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus replied, now you cannot follow me where I am going, but later you shall follow me. Peter said to him, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. In all truth, I tell you, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord.